وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ Out of you, a group should rise. They should be made up of people from you. And their job will be to call people to good things. They'll be always inviting people to good things. In other words, not every one of us is going to hit the podium. But there will be a group that will come from us. When the brotherhood is created, talent and talents will be identified and we're going to hone those talents and the entire community is going to invest in those talents and they're going to rise and they're going to call people to good. وَيَأْمُرُونَ Can you imagine young people from our community, our own community, one day giving the khutbahs, one day inviting people to good, one day going and, and going on talk shows and responding to people that are hating on Islam, <coughs> our own kids that are born and raised here, can you imagine that day? It's an incredible thing when they're from among you <coughs> calling to the good. Probably one of the most misunderstood concepts in the entire Quran. Actually, I was going to spend about an hour and a half just on this tonight, but I can't. Just on وَيَأْمُرُنَا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَا عَلِ الْمُنْكَرِ But I'll summarize what I can for you. The, the translation says most of the time, they command the good and forbid the evil. How many people have heard that before? Command the good, forbid the evil. Right? You've heard that before, right? Very, very shallow translation. Ya'murun means, it's a spectrum of things. Amr means suggesting something, advising something, trying to convince someone to do something, you know, encouraging someone to do something, and commanding someone to do something. Is there a difference between suggesting and encouraging and commanding? There is, right? It starts with suggestion. And you know there are different situations. I give you a real life, really simple example. I love simple examples. Or I think they're simple. Right? Dinner's ready. I'm going to call my dad to dinner, and I'm going to call my son to dinner. Dad is downstairs, son is upstairs. I'm going to say to my son, dinner's ready. I'm going to say to my dad, Abba, uh, dinner's ready. <laughs> I did Amr in both cases. In one case, I used authority. In the other case, I used respect, request, right? Two different things. Two different situations. Amr bil ma'roof depends on the situation. You don't go commanding people. You don't take out your, you know, your haram gun and haram, 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 haram. Like, everything's haram. You can't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. And we have, unfortunately, some of this social constipation in our masajid in some places. But we have it. I know, I know it's a bad term, but I feel that way. Like it's almost like you can't even be happy in a masjid. Like if you smile and say, Salaamu Alaikum. Look over there. <laughs> Masjid. No, no happiness here. Like, like, uh, oh man, Masjid's supposed to be a place you can be happy. Don't, don't be judgmental on people. Don't just you know, tell people, you should be doing this. That's haram, you know. That's not right, you know. And the guy, you know, this happened in a Masjid recently. These, these youth came to the Masjid in Ramadan, last Ramadan. And some of these kids have never been in a masjid. Like, they're Muslim, but they've never been in a masjid. Ever. The kid walk, walks into the masjid, he's got a couple of earrings. You know? He's got tattoos. What do if, what if some of our incredibly wise members of the community do? That's haram. <laughs> he's like, what, my ears? Haram? What, do you want to pull it off? You know? Then you're going to say, it's, uh, your salat is not accepted, you're bleeding. <laughs> What do you want me to do? You can't go around telling people what to do. Your first job, your first job is to instill people in awareness of Allah. Everything else will fall into place. Remember step one? So what does Amr bil Ma'roof really mean? It means call people to good, decent behavior. Encourage people to do the right thing. Don't worry about the finer details. Don't, they will happen, they will take care of themselves. Worry about the big things.